Hi, this is John, VE6EY, with a short video about using GNU Radio to uh, measure signal-to-noise ratio and the effect of decimation or reducing the number of samples you're using on improving your signal-to-noise ratio. And uh, I've got here GNU Radio running in a virtual machine on my computer. And uh, a little while ago on the website, I wrote an article uh, which basically talked about uh, using processing gain to improve the um, signal-to-noise ratio of uh, output from an analog-digital controller. Uh, processing gain is something you achieve by decimating and low-pass filtering uh, signal coming through your radio. So in this article, I talked about the uh, radio running at 120 megahertz producing samples with an effective number of bits of 12.5, then by decimating the signal, I gained an extra 39 dB of signal-to-noise ratio in a reduced bandwidth and uh, substantially improved the uh, signal-to-noise ratio of the radio uh, compared to uh, what would happen if we didn't decimate. So I thought I would do an experiment uh, in GNU Radio as part of learning uh, how to use SDRs uh, in terms of uh, actually demonstrating this improvement in signal-to-noise ratio. So what I did was create a model. Uh, basically, uh, I took a signal source at about one megasample per second uh, sampling rate of 5 kilohertz. And then I created some uh, broadband Gaussian noise, and I added the two together. So what happens when you take a signal source and a Gaussian noise and add them together is you get a spectrum like this. Uh, all of this is the noise that I'm generating uh, down around the zero point. And then here's the tone, which is uh, 25 dB or so higher than the noise. And so that's what I'm actually uh, generating. So after doing that and displaying it, I thought, well, I'm going to create a couple of decimating filters. And I'm going to uh, run one of them with decimation of 16, which means I'm keeping only one sixteenth of data. And I run the other filter decimating at 64, which means I'm only keeping one out of 64 samples. Now, this is reducing my bandwidth as I do the, uh, as I do the sampling. So we're starting out with a bandwidth of basically 1 megahertz uh, with the... Uh, smaller amount of decimation, we end up with a bandwidth of 64K, and with a lot more decimation, we end up with a bandwidth of 16K, and we'll show those on the screen. Now, what happens as you do this decimation is the theory says that uh, you should gain 3 dB for each doubling of decimation. So, basically, you, you start off uh, with this signal here, which has no decimation, and I've adjusted the level of the signal to uh, get that noise around the 0 dB power point on this Fourier transform. And then I want to see, okay, as I go from <clears throat> no decimation to 16 dB of decimation, uh, basically if you take 2 to the power of the number of, uh, of, uh, of decimation that you're doing, uh, you end up uh, increasing the... Uh, decimation rate and decreasing the amount of noise. So if we decimate the signal by 16, there you can see we've gained 12 dB reduction in noise, which gives us the signal to noise ratio now from 25 at the peak of the signal down to uh, minus 12. So there's an example of decimating by 16 and we're gaining basically 12 dB, which is what the theory says we should be getting. Um, given the number of doublings that we've done in terms of decimation. So what happens if we decimate by 64? Well, we now drop the noise down to minus 18 dB. And so basically our signal-to-noise ratio now goes from uh, minus 18 to plus 25, which is a pretty big improvement over where we started with the raw signal that we're generating with the uh, noise centered on 0 dB going to 16 times decimation drops the noise by 12 dB, but keeps the signal at the same strength. You see, if we measure the signal here, it's 25 or 26 dB, which is the same as our original signal. And then if we decimate down to 64, 
the power of the original signal stays the same, but the noise level drops down to minus 18 dB. So we have this huge gain in signal to noise ratio with no loss in, uh, in anything other than the amount of bandwidth that we're using. And if the bandwidth we're using in this decimation is good enough for what we want to do, we've had a huge improvement. So there's how decimation works. And this is all being done with decimating FIR filters. Uh, basically, the FIR filter is set up to basically be a low-pass filter at 8 kilohertz, which is slightly above the 5 kilohertz tone that I'm using. And uh, so that gets rid of uh, basically the noise outside that range. The way this all works is fundamentally I'm throwing away all the noise outside my bandwidth. So all that noise there is being thrown away. And as we reduce the bandwidth, the amount of noise that's left drops and drops and drops. So we get the increased signal to noise ratio. So there's an example of using GNU radio to uh, learn about how processing gain works. In this case, we haven't been using uh, an ADC. We've actually created the signal ourselves, added noise to a signal, and then filtered and decimated so we can see how much the improvement is that we're getting, which in this case is a really big improvement. And that's how decimation adds processing gain, which improves signal-to-noise ratio in your DSP or software-defined radio. Thank you.